The pride of the High Plains, Tobacco Bison, are on the air. You're listening to Tobacco Bison Basketball on the Tobacco Bison Sports Network. We are live from the 2022 Shattuck Shootout, second round, where the Balco Bison will be taking on the Shattuck JV Indians live from Indian Arena here in Shattuck, Oklahoma. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we will have the keys to victory, the starting lineup in this first round matchup between Balco and Shattuck, live from Shattuck. Balco Bison Basketball will continue in a moment.
Welcome back to Shattuck Gymnasium here in Shattuck, Oklahoma for the second round 2022 Shattuck shootout matchup between the Balco Bison and the Shattuck JV Indians. Balco coming into today's game after a disappointing loss to Visai. They played the Visai Indians very, uh, very tough yesterday in the first half, and then in the second half, Visai pulled away for a comfortable victory. Uh, Shattuck lost their matchup yesterday as well to get us into this matchup today. Looking, taking, taking a quick look at the bracket, the winner of today's game will play tomorrow at 2 p.m. Uh, and the loser will play at 11.20 tomorrow morning. Immediately following this game, Balco and Arnett uh, will face off in the ladies matchup uh, in what is a top 20 matchup on the women's side of the bracket. <clears throat> the Balco Bison are, are uh, they're gonna have a change in the starting lineup as Mason Romju is not going to be participating in today's game. Uh, and instead, Levi Milliken will be starting in his place. Jaden Hall is uh, back in the lineup after the, uh, after the injury sustained in the Laverne game the other day. We're going to take another quick break. When we come back, we will have the starting lineups and tip-off from the 2022 Shattuck Shootout. Balco Bison basketball will continue in a moment. Welcome back to Shattuck Gymnasium here in Shattuck, Oklahoma. Second round 2022 Shattuck shootout. The starting lineup for the two teams. First for the Shattuck Indians. Number two, Dason Hamaker. Number three, Traven Frazier. Number 12, Cooper Johnson. Number 15, Nathaniel Long. And number 22, Daniel Long. The Indians are coached by Drew Miller. For the Balco Bison, coming into today's game with a record of five wins and six losses on the season. Number one, Braxton Fowler. Number three, Nathan Smith. Number five, Jaden Hall. Number 20, Levi Milliken. And number 32, Adam Creason. <coughs> Shattuck in their home red uniforms with white script. Shattuck across the chest, white lettering and white trim. They'll be going from left to right across your screen. Balco in the road, white uniforms with maroon script. Balco and maroon trim. They will be going from right to left across your screen. Jaden Hall to jump for the Bison. Daniel Long to jump for the Indians. A very pleasant good afternoon to you all, wherever you may be. My name is David Mudd. I'll be your host for the day. The ball's in the air. Tip is controlled by the Bison. We are underway. Braxton Fowler has it in the backcourt, bringing it across the timeline now. Passing over to Hall between the circles. Circles, uh, Hall passes around to Creason, who holds the foul line extended. Passes to Milliken at the high post, driving it. Uh, passes off to Hall. Hall shot off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Long. Coming back the other way now are the Indians. Bring it across the midcourt stripe, passing over to Nathaniel Long on the far side, now reversing course. Traven Frazier has now back between the circles over to Cooper Johnson. Back to Frazier now, crossover dribble being guarded by Fowler, has the ball on the near side. Back now between the circles, Dason Hamaker has it. Back over to Nathaniel Long, Long being guarded by Hall. Now over to the far side, Johnson with it, dribbling over and passing to Frazier. Frazier being guarded again by Fowler, Fowler reaching in, does not get the steal. And Shattuck will reset the offense. Ball's knocked away and stolen by Jaden Hall. Bison will come back the other way as Hall bring it across the timeline diagonally toward the far side. Hall waits for the offensive set, passes over to Creason, who holds the ball high above his head. Now back to Hall, 
to, to the high post, Milliken has it, being unguarded, handing it off to Kreese, and Kreese in driving in now, has it at the block, turn around, jumper from the paint is good. Five foot jumper for Adam Kreese is good, and the Bison lead two nothing. 6.41 to go here in the first quarter. Into the front court, Frazier has it, the free throw line extended on the near side. Looking to get rid of it. Does so now to the corner on the near side. Cooper Johnson has it, being guarded by Nathan Smith. Dishes back out to Frazier. Lost his footing a little bit, was able to maintain. Passes over to Nathaniel Long. Spin move by Long. Bounce pass over to Frazier. Frazier, 15-foot jumper off the back iron. No good. Rebounded by Adam Creason. He hands it off to Braxton Fowler, and he'll take it across the free throw, or excuse me, across the midcourt stripe on the far side. 6.06 to go here in the first quarter. 2 nothing. your score favor, Valco. Adam Creason now has it between the circles, passing off to Milliken, handing it back off to Creason, give and go. Shots off the bottom of the backboard, no good, we have a foul. The foul is going to be on Daniel Long. That'll be his first personal foul, first team foul, and Adam Creason will be at the line to shoot two for the Bison. Adam Creason, a reliable free throw shooter for the Bison. Shooting around 73% on the season. The senior from Balco takes two dribbles, the first free throw is on the way. Off the back iron, no good. Creason missed yesterday's game as he was uh, at a participating in a, a stock show in Denver. Dylan Curtis has checked into the game for the Indians. Second free throw is also no good. So Creason misses on both, and it's still 2 nothing under six to play here in the first quarter. Bring it quickly into the front court. Nathaniel Long has it, passes over to Hammaker now. Hammaker over to Johnson. Johnson driving in, passes back. Ball's knocked away by Hall, but recovered. And he throws it away to nobody in particular. Out of bounds, it will be Balco basketball. Inbounding on the near side. Nathan Smith to do the inbounding honors. 5.43 to go here in the first quarter. Still 2 nothing the score. Jaden Hall over to Adam Creason. Creason holds the ball high above his head in front of the Indian bench. Now... Levi Milliken holds it at the free throw line. Doesn't look interested in doing much with it. Disposes of it, gives off now Jaden Hall with it on the near side. Still has to dribble if he wants it, does not take it. Passes over to Creason. Creason's gonna drive in now around a double team shot off the glass is good. Basket good by Adam Creason. That's four points for him and it's four nothing favor Balco. 5-11 to go here in the first quarter. Diagonally into the front court now, Nathaniel Long has it, dishing it off to Cooper Johnson. Johnson passes off to Hammaker between the circles. He's being guarded by by Nathan Smith, now over to the near side. Long on the wing, the reverse layup is no good by Daniel Long, rebounded by Adam Creason. He feeds it off to Braxton Fowler. He'll bring it slowly across the midcourt stripe into the front court, driving in now through a double team, shots off the glass, no good. Aggressive rebound by Dylan Curtis. And the Indians are gonna race across the timeline coming the other way now. Ball's knocked away out of bounds by Nathan Smith. Nice aggressive defense there by by Smith, and it will be Shattuck basketball. They inbound to Long. Long has the ball. The floater is off the glass and good for Nathaniel Long. That's his first basket of the game, and it's 4-2 favor Balco. Four and a half to go here in the first quarter. Into the front court, Braxton Fowler has it now. Hanging it off to Adam Creason at the top of the key, dishing over now to Nathan Smith. Smith the hall. Hall straight away three. In and out, no good. Rebound. And we have a loose ball foul on... Levi Milliken, that'll be Milliken's first personal foul, first team foul for the Bison, and it will be Shattuck basketball, with 4.18 to go here in the first quarter. Peyton Parker checking into the game for the Bison to replace Levi Milliken. Parker seeing his fourth game of action of the season. Into the front court now is Shattuck, over to the far side now, Nathaniel Long has it, passing over to Johnson, Johnson dishing off to Curtis, Hall goes for the steal, doesn't quite get it. Wide open under the basket, shot is blocked by Parker and stolen by, by Creason. Creason's gonna drive all the way and coast to coast, shot is off the glass, no good, and a foul. Nice, nice block by Peyton Parker on the defensive end and then Adam Creason aggressively on the offensive end. The foul is going to be on Nathaniel Long. That'll be his first personal foul, second team foul. And Adam Creason will be at the line to shoot two more. First free throw for the senior is up and good. And it's the Adam Creason show in the early going here. Five points for him. One more free throw forthcoming. Levi Milliken set to check in at the next 
Dead balls, the second free throw is also good. He'll check in for Adam Creason. So Creason converts both. He has six points. It's 6-2 favor Balco. 3.52 to go here in the first quarter. Cooper Johnson with the ball for Shattuck as he'll walk it across the timeline. He calls out the play as he's now standing in the circle, being guarded by Nathan Smith. Passes around the defense. Nice aggressive defense there by Braxton Fowler on the far side. Over to Nathaniel Long, and the ball stolen by Peyton Parker. Parker now into the front court. Numbers back defensively for Shattuck. Parker hands it off to Nathan Smith. Smith now with it. Dishing off to Parker into the paint. Spin move. The floater is blocked. Coming back now the other way for the Indians is Cooper Johnson. Johnson passing up to Long. Long has a crossover dribble, driving in on Hall. Backs back out to the free throw line. Now over to Curtis. Curtis now down to the block. Hammaker had a shot off, did not to take it. Back three-pointer for Long is off the back iron. No good. Rebounded by Nathan Smith. Coming back the other way now. Three to play here in the first quarter. 6-2 your score favor Balco. Braxton Fowler over to Peyton Parker. In the corner, driving in, dishes out to Fowler. Fowler for three, off the back iron, no good, bang! It looked like it had come off and it fell, so three-pointer for Braxton Fowler. His first points of the game is now 9-2, favor Balco, 2.42 to go here in the first quarter. Into the front court, Dason Hammaker with it, holds the ball above his head, still has his dribble if he wants it, he does take it. Drives in, dishes over to Johnson. Johnson, long three-pointer is good for Cooper Johnson. His first points, and it's now 9-5, to 2.27 to go here in the quarter. Offense is starting to heat up now just a little bit. Fowler in front of the Shattuck bench, hands it off to Hall. Hall shot off the glass, is good. Basket good for Jaden Hall, his first points of the game. And it's 11-5, favor Balco now. Crossover dribble, finds a cutting Dason Hammaker, and it's off his hands out of bounds. The pass a little bit too tall. And it will be a turnover for the Indians. Balco basketball now, 2.06 to go here in the first quarter. Balco just needing to settle down a little bit on the offensive side. Their defense is looking good so far. Smith thought about the three, opted not to take it, drives all the way in his head, shots off the glass, no good. Offensive rebound by Milliken. Turnaround jumper is blocked, come back the other way. It's a fast break opportunity for the Indians. Nathaniel Long goes coast to coast, shots off the glass, no good, rebounded by Hall. Coming back the other way now, a minute 41 to go here in the first quarter. Nathan Smith with it on the near side, brings it across the timeline. Into the front court now, numbers back defensively for the Indians. Smith with it, gives it off now to Parker. Parker driving across the paint, loses control of the ball, taps it over to Hall. Hall double team, gives it over to Fowler. Fowler splits the double team, loses control, and he traveled with it. So a turnover for the a turnover for the Bison. It will be Shattuck basketball. A minute 24 to go here in the first quarter. 11-5 your score favor Balco here in the early going of this one. Adam Creason's going to check back into the game for the Bison, replacing Levi Milliken. Inbound goes to Johnson, who gives it back to Nathaniel Long, and he'll jog it across the timeline. Over to Hammaker. Hammaker now back between the circles to Nathaniel Long. Now over to the wing on the far side. Dylan Curtis has it. Back between the circles. Dason Hammaker with it. Being guarded by Smith. Passing over to Johnson. Johnson driving in through a double team. Shots blocked by shots blocked by Hall. But it comes back the other way now. Shattuck still has it. Under a minute to play here in the quarter. Wide open three-pointer from the top of the key is good. By Nathaniel Long. That's five points for Long. And it's a three-point game, 11-8, to eight, with 42 to go here in the quarter. Braxton Fowler into the front court. Gives it off to Peyton Parker. The free throw line extended on the far side. Parker finds Hall at the high post. Gives it off to Fowler. Fowler drives in. Shots off the glass. Hard, no good. Rebounded by Long. Shattuck has a chance to tie with a three-pointer here with 22 to go here in the quarter. Over to Curtis. Curtis has the ball being guarded by Braxton Fowler. Now back between the circles over to the far side. Nathaniel Long has it. Back over to the near side, Dylan Curtis being guarded again by Fowler. Finds a, a diving Hammaker, the shot is good. Dason Hammaker with a nice diving move, and it's a one point game now, 11 to 10, two seconds to go in the quarter. Adam Creason from 40 is no good, and that's the end of the first quarter with your score, Balco 11, Shattuck 10. We'll take a quick break, we'll come back. Balco Bison basketball will continue in a moment.
Welcome back to Shattuck Gymnasium here in the 2022 Shattuck Shootout, the second round, where the Balco Bison lead the Shattuck Indians JV by a score of 11 to 10. The Shattuck Indians are being paced by Nathaniel Long, with five points, three for Cooper Johnson, and two for Dason Hammaker. For Balco, six points for Adam Kreese, and three for Braxton Fowler, and two for Jaden Hall. We want to thank everybody for listening to this broadcast of Balco Bison Basketball. If you're listening, let us know where you're listening from. Uh, shout us out on Twitter, at Balco Sports, or uh, on Facebook, Balco Bison Sports Network. Let us know where you're listening from, who you're rooting for. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll shout you out on air. We like doing that sort of thing. The ball is stolen. Jaden Hall finds Adam Creason, but it goes behind him and out of bounds, a turnover. So we'll be Shattuck basketball just underway here in the second quarter. Inbound goes to Daniel Long, who will walk it across the timeline for the Indians. Over to the far side now. Nathaniel Long now back. The shot is off the glass, hard, no good. Coach Regeer not happy with the defensive execution there for the Bison on that possession. Into the front court now, Nathan Smith has it, gives it off to Braxton Fowler. Fowler over to Parker. Parker to Smith, who holds the ball high above his head at the free throw line extended. Finds Adam Creason at the free throw line. 14 foot jumper's good for Adam Creason. That's eight for the senior. And the lead's back up to three for Balco. Now 13 to 10, 7 11 to go here in the second quarter. Into the front court now, driving in. The shot is. No good. Rebounded by Peyton Parker, coming back the other way. Long outlet goes to Jaden Hall. Hall's ahead of everyone. The shot's up and good. Four points for Jaden Hall, and just like that, it's a five-point lead now, 15 to 10, a minute gone here in the second quarter. Into the front court, Dylan Curtis has it now back over to Dason Hammaker. Hammaker bounce pass to the block, turn around, jump over Creason is no good. Rebounded by Adam Creason. Balco come back the other way, and they're going to take their time in so doing. 6.37 to go here in the first half. 15 to 10, your score favor, Balco. Fowler with it, passes off to Parker. Parker finds a cutting, Jaden Hall. Nice move by Jaden Hall. Six points for him. A 6 nothing run for Balco to start the quarter, and it's now 17 to 10, favor the Bison. Tying their largest lead of the game. Dylan Curtis has it now, passes back over and gets it back. Ball now down on the block. Daniel Long now over a three-point shot is off the back iron. No good. Skying for the rebound is Nathan Smith, and he gets it. Bison are going to come back the other way now. Six minutes to go here in the first half. 17-10, your score favor, Balco. Smith finds Peyton Parker on the far side looking to get rid of it. Does so to Fowler between the circles. Bounce pass to Smith on the near side. Smith finds Jaden Hall in the paint. Spin move passes out of a double team over to, to a crease, and 16-foot jumper is no good. Offensive rebound over to Fowler. Back to crease, and crease, and straightaway three. Off the back iron, no good. Rebound deflected out of bounds, and it will remain with Balco. 5.39 to go here in the quarter. Summing into the game for the Indians will be Traven Frazier replacing Dylan Curtis. Peyton Parker to inbound on the baseline. Inbound goes to Fowler in the corner. Utilizing the hall screen, has the ball, gives the ball, and it's deflected. Come back the other way. Shattuck has it into the front court now. Splitting over a double team, the shot's no good, gets his own rebound, put back is up and good for Nathaniel Long, that's seven points for him. And it's 17-12. Jaden Hall off the glass, no good. Rebound loose, picked up by the Indians. They're racing, coming back the other way, and they have numbers offensively. Driving through a double team, off the glass and good. Back to back baskets for Nathaniel Long. He has nine points to lead all scores, and it's a three point game now, 17 to 14. Peyton Parker over to Nathan Smith. Smith over to Fowler now. Fowler has it on the near side, bounces it to Hall. Give and go is broken up and coming back. That's three straight turnovers for the Bison now. Come back the other way now is Shattuck driving in. Nathaniel Long has it, bounce pass to the block. Daniel Long, shot in the paint is no good, rebounded by Jaden Hall. He gives it off to Fowler. Balco's gonna slow it down and try and kind of gather themselves. 4.18 to go here in the first half. 17-14, your score favor, Balco. Adam Creason has it at the elbow, gives it off to Fowler. Fowler dribbles around a double team, bounce pass now back to the top of the key. Now over to Creason. Creason passes out of a double team. 
Jane Hall calls for some help, doesn't get it. Passed over to Peyton Parker on the near side. Now back to Hall. Creason with it, dishes off to Fowler, and Balco's going to reset the offense. 1 2 2 zone being employed by the Indians. Fowler has a bounce pass to Creason between the circles. Over to Smith. Smith has it, passes to Hall, and they can't get any kind of penetration on this possession whatsoever. Excellent defense by the Shattuck Indians on this possession. Timeout on the floor. We'll take it with them. 3.29 to go here in the first half. Balco 17, Shattuck 14. Balco Bison basketball will continue in a moment. Welcome back to Shattuck where the Balco Bison lead the Shattuck Indians by a score of 17 to 14 in the second round matchup of the 2022 Shattuck Shootout. It will be Balco basketball inbounding in front of the media table on the near side. Inbound goes to Braxton Fowler. Fowler has it. Bounce pass to the elbow. Now finds a cutting Nathan Smith. Shots off the glass and good. First points of the game for Smith. And it's back to a five point lead for Balco now 19 to 14. 315 to go here in the first half. Into the front court, Cooper Johnson has it being guarded by Nathan Smith. Johnson finds a cutting, Nathaniel Long shots off the glass and good. Long now with 11 points to lead all scorers. First player for either team in double figures and it's 19 to 16 with three minutes to go here in the first half. Into the front court now, Braxton Fowler utilizing the Millican screen. Passes over to Hall now, between the circles, gives it off to Nathan Smith. Smith driving in on Long, passes over to Millican. Millican over to To Hall, Hall to Fowler. Fowler has it now, back to Milliken. Levi Milliken between the circles, gives it off to Nathan Smith. Little bob and weave action now going on for the Bison. Peyton Parker has it, loses control, gets it back. Ball's knocked away by a long out of bounds. And it will be Balco basketball, 2.23 to go. And Balco is just all sorts of disjunct on the offensive side of the ball. They're definitely going to want to try and get that under control as this game continues. Fowler has the ball, passing over to Parker. Parker for three, misses everything. No good, rebounded by Nathaniel Long. Long racing the other way, numbers back defensively, doesn't care, splits the double team, shots off the glass, and good. 13 points for Nathaniel Long, and it's a one-point game, 19 to 18. Into the front court, Braxton Fowler now for the Bison, under two to play here in the half. Jaden Hall has it, and he traveled. So a turnover for Balco. A minute 53 to go here in the second quarter. 19 to 18, the score favor Balco. Into the front court, Cooper Johnson has it. Looking to get rid of it, double team comes. Bounce pass goes to the far side. Pass back to Long. Long finds Johnson on the near side. He splits the double team shot, is blocked, and a foul. Foul is going to be on Nathan Smith. That'll be Smith's first personal foul. Just the second team foul of the half. And at the line for Shattuck will be Cooper Johnson to shoot two. First free throw for Johnson is on the way and good. And we're all tied up at 19. One more free throw upcoming. It's up, and it's good. And the Indians take their first lead of the game at 20 to 19 with a minute and a half to go here in the first half. Braxton Fowler brings it into the front court for the Bison. A cutting Nathan Smith, shots off the glass, good and a foul. Foul's gonna be on Cooper Johnson, his first personal third team foul. Four points now for Nathan Smith. And the junior from Balco will attempt to complete the three-point play. <clears throat> the 
Bonus free throws up off the back iron, no good. Rebounded by Traven Frazier, and the Indians are going to come back the other way now. A minute 15 to go here in the first half. 21-20 your score favor Balco. Traven Frazier with it now, top of the key, passes over to the near side. Dason Hamaker has it in the corner, passes back now to Johnson. Johnson finds Frazier on the far side. Bounce pass to Nathaniel Long, Long being guarded by Hall. Passes out of the double team, three-pointer for Johnson's off the back iron, no good, rebounded by Fowler, but it's stolen. Knocked away by Long, he has it now at the top of the key, coming back the other way, Johnson now on the near side, splits the double team, and he's fouled on the shot. I believe that's going to be on Levi Milliken. The, the foul will be on Levi Milliken. That'll be his second personal foul. Third team foul. And Cooper Johnson will be at the line to shoot two more. Johnson just completed, just made two of two a few seconds ago. First free throw is off the back iron, no good. 45 seconds to go here in the first half. Adam Creason will check into the game to replace Peyton Parker. Johnson's second free throw is up. Uh, no good, there was a lane violation. He made it, but there was a lane violation, so the free throw will not count. So it'll be Balco basketball with a one point lead and the ball, 40 seconds to go in the half. Fowler walking across the midcourt stripe, utilizing the Millican screen, bounce pass to Creason, shot from the block is no good, rebounded by Hall. Hall turned around, jumper in the paint, short, no good. Rebound loose, picked up by Long. Hall reaches in for the steal, doesn't get it, driving in is Long, wrap around dribble, three pointer, off the front iron, no good, rebounded by the Indians in the corner, and we have a foul away from the ball on Levi Milliken, and that's gonna be three on him. Fourth team foul, Peyton Parker's gonna check back into the game. Shaq inbounds under their basketballs, deflected out of bounds by Nathan Smith with 14.1 to go in the half. Malco leading by one, Shattuck to inbound on the near sideline. Cooper Johnson to do the inbounding honors for Shattuck. Inbound goes to Long in the corner, double team comes, ball's knocked away and stolen. Hall has it, gets up to Creason, seven seconds to go in the half. Creason in the front court, goes around coast to coast off the glass and good. Basket good by Adam Creason, and that's going to be the end of the first half of the score. Balco 23, Shattuck 20. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have a first half recap and the keys to victory for Balco here in the second half. Balco by some basketball. We'll continue in a moment.
Welcome back to Shattuck Gymnasium where the Balco Bison lead the Shattuck Indians at halftime by a score of 23 to 20. For Shattuck, they're being paced by Nathaniel Long who leads all scores with 13 points. Five for Cooper Johnson, two for Dason Hamaker. For Balco, Adam Creason and Jaden Hall with eight points apiece, four for Nathan Smith and three for Braxton Fowler. The only foul trouble really for either team, Nathan, uh, excuse me, Levi Milliken has uh, three fouls. And that's, I mean, that's, that's the extent of it for, <laughs> for either team. So, um, I feel like for, for Balco, they really need to kind of get things under control on the offensive side. Defensively, they're doing fairly well. Uh, they just need to kind of find their identity. They need to make sure that they're doing the things that they do well, really well. And if they can do that, they will be able to pull this game out. A reminder that immediately after the conclusion of this game that the Balco Lady Bison will be in action against Arnett. That game should tip off around 3.20 or so. Um, the, uh, the, both the Balco Bison and Lady Bison will be back in action on Tuesday as they head on the road to take on Tyrone, and those games will begin at 6.30 and 8, respectively, on the Balco Bison Sports Network. We do want to thank everybody for listening to this broadcast of Balco Bison Sports Network. Uh, and Balco Bison Basketball. If you're listening, let us know where you're listening from. We'll give you a shout out. Um, do you want to uh, thank uh, uh, Tana Fowler Perkins for listening to us? Uh, got a message about a half hour ago that says, uh, yay number five, glad you're okay, go Balco. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're glad that, glad that uh, the players are all healthy and doing well. Uh, and, you know, and especially in this time right now where, you know, COVID's kind of running rampant. You know, we're, we're really fortunate that, you know, everyone's, kind of fairly healthy and for those of you out there that may be struggling with your health a little bit you know we're certainly thinking about you and and sending your thoughts and our prayers as well and you know well wishes uh for your health and your well-being uh because this stuff is is nothing to mess around with uh about a minute and a half until the start of the second half we'll take a quick break when we come back we will have exciting second half action live from shattuck the 2022 shattuck shootout balco bison basketball we'll continue in a moment I can't see. I, I can sit and call, I just can't see. You may have to. Welcome back to the 2022 Shattuck Shootout second round with the Baco Bison lead. The Shattuck Indians by a score of 23 to 20, the start of the second half. It will be Shattuck basketball. They will be going from right to left across your screen. Balco will be going from left to right. Shattuck in their home red uniforms with the script Shattuck across the chest, white lettering, white trim. They will be going again from right to left. Balco in their road white uniforms with the script maroon Balco across the chest, maroon lettering, maroon trim. They'll be going from left to right. Turnaround jumper from the elbows off the glass, no good. Rebound fought for, picked up by Creason. Balco coming back the other way, 15 seconds gone here in the, in the second half. Braxton Fowler with it now into the front court, crossover dribble. Bounce pass to Creason at the block, shots off the glass, no good, but he's fouled. Shattuck foul is going to be on Daniel Long. That'll be his second personal foul, first team foul. And at the line for the Bison will be Adam Creason. Creason 2-4 from the line so far in the game. 
Creason takes one dribble. His first free throw is short. No good. Off the front iron. Another free throw fourth coming for the 6'3 senior from Balco. Second one is also short. Offensive rebound picked up by Hall. Turn around jumpers. No good. Rebound loose. Picked up by Long. But he traveled with it. He tried to save it, and he did a really good job of tight roping the line. I think he just took two hops on one foot. So it'll be a turnover and Balco basketball. Smith inbounds to Creason at the foul line. Finds a cutting Braxton Fowler. Nice move. Shot off the glass and good. Braxton Fowler now with five points. And it's a five-point lead for Balco now, 25 to 27, 17 to go here in the third quarter. On the near side, Traven Frazier has it. It's knocked away and stolen. Peyton Parker shot no good. Rebounded by the Indians. Ball loose, knocked away. Uh, Nathan Smith has it. And Baco will set the offense now. A minute expired here in the third quarter. Braxton Fowler with it in the front court. Utilizes the Hall screen. Over to Creason. Creason finds Hall with the block. Shot off the glass. Good. Jaden Hall now with 10 points, the first Bison player in double figures, and it's a seven-point lead for Balco, tying their largest lead of the game. 6.42 to go here in the third quarter. Into the front court, Long has it. Finds a cutting uh, hammocker, and he loses, deflected. Adam Creason has it. Spin move in the paint, no good. He's out of control, ball's loose on the floor. Smith has it, and we have a timeout on the floor. We'll take it with him. 6.28 to go here in the third quarter. Back on 27, shot at 20. Back on Bison basketball. We'll continue in a moment. Welcome back to Shattuck, Oklahoma. 27-20, your score favor, Balco. Nathan Smith looking to inbound underneath the basket. Finds Jaden Hall in the corner on the near side. Crossover dribble being guarded by Long. Passes back to Fowler between the circles. Finds Hall in the elbow. Pass over to Smith. Smith for three. Off the back iron, no good. Rebounded by Dason Hammaker. He gives it off to Nathaniel Long, and he'll come across the timeline toward the far side. Passing off to Johnson. Johnson has it. Fakes the pass, utilizes the long screen. Trapped in the corner, can't get rid of it. Does so finally now to the block. Daniel Long, floaters, no good. Gets his own rebound, put back also, no good. Rebound loose, picked up by Nathan Smith. Off to Parker, back to Smith, and they're going to come back the other way now are the Bison. 5.47 to go here in the third quarter. 27-20, your score favor, Balco. Nathan Smith into the front court, utilizes... The screen by Creason gives it off to Parker. The Parker floater is good. Peyton Parker with the floater from 10 feet. His first points of the game, and it's a nine-point lead for Balco, 29 to 20. The Bison's largest lead of the game now. Traven Frazier has it, being guarded by Braxton Fowler. Can't get rid of it. It's deflected out of bounds, saved, but to the Indians. Long has it now, driving into the paint. Double team comes, and we have a foul. A reach-in foul on, I think it's going to be on Nathan Smith. No, it's going to be on, uh, correction, on Braxton Fowler. It'll be his first personal foul. First team foul of the second half, and the Indians will inbound from the baseline. Levi Milliken checking in for the Bison. Inbound goes to Long. Long spin move. Double, come, double team comes. Pass over to Johnson for three. Three-point basket is good for Cooper Johnson. That's eight points for him. And it's a six-point lead now, 29-23 favor Balco. Three minutes gone here in the third quarter. Braxton Fowler walks it across the mid-court stripe. Utilizes the Millican screen. Finds Hall all alone under the basket. Layup is good. 12 points for Jaden Hall. It's 31-23 favor the Bison. Quickly into the front court now is Long. And he finds a cutting, my goodness, a cutting hammocker who was left all alone under the basket himself. 31-25, four and a half to go here in the third quarter. We talked about the offenses wanting to loosen up. Well, that's certainly happened here in this quarter. Milliken between the circles over to Parker. Parker has it, dishes off to Hall, loses control, picks it back up. Over to Nathan Smith. Smith has it now, dishes off to Milliken. Milliken looking to get rid of it, does so to Fowler at the free throw line extended on the far side. Driving in, splits the double team, 
Looked like a travel, they did not call it. Passes over now, reverses course. Nathan Smith has it, top of the key over to Hall. Hall straight away three, and bang! Basket good for Jaden Hall, 13 points for him. And it's 34 to 25. Dylan Curtis has it now. Hall goes for the steal and gets the foul instead. So that'll be Jaden Hall's first personal foul, second team foul. And Shattuck will inbound in front of the scorer's table on the far side. Johnson has it now, crossover dribble, double team comes. Hall goes for the steal, doesn't get it, over to Long. Long driving in on Hall now, pass out of a double team. Over to Hammaker. Braxton Fowler goes for the steal and we have a tie ball. Possession arrow favors the Bison and it will be Balco basketball with 3.24 to go here in the third quarter. Jaden Hall wide open under the basket, shot is up and good. That's 15 points for Jaden Hall. And it's an 11 point lead for Balco now, 36-25, crossover dribble, reach and foul on Jaden Hall, that'll be his second. Third team foul, foul's on the floor and it will be Shattuck basketball inbounding on the near sideline. 3.05 to go here in the third quarter, Balco 36, Shattuck 25. Dylan Curtis inbounds too long, long cross court pass, is saved by Hammaker on the far side. Bounce pass goes to Johnson, he's being guarded by Smith. Over to Curtis, Curtis has the ball, crossover dribble passes over now to Hammaker. Hammaker is being guarded by Peyton Parker. Good defense there by the Bison. And the pass is errant and goes out of bounds into the media table. So it will be a turnover, Balco basketball, 2.43 to go here in the third quarter. Into the game for the Indians will be Traven Frazier. It will be Balco basketball. Jaden Hall to do the inbounding honors for the Bison on the near sideline. Inbound goes to Fowler. Fowler has it being guarded by Frazier. Utilizes the Hall screen. Three pointer for Fowler. Bang! Three point basket good for Braxton Fowler. That's eight for him. And it's now 39 to 25 favor Balco. Bison now starting to pull away here in this third quarter. Frazier holds the ball high above his head being guarded by Fowler. Over to Long. Long being guarded by Hall, utilizes the Frazier screen, pulls back, three-pointer, it's off the front iron, no good, rebound loose, offensive rebound, and Shattuck will reset, three-pointer for Johnson, off the back iron, no good, rebound loose, picked up by Hall on the run, numbers for Balco if they hurry, shot off the glass, no good, rebounded by Smith, put back is good, basket good for Nathan Smith, that's six points for him, it's now 41-25 favor Balco, a minute 51 to go here in the third quarter. Frazier with the ball, bounce pass, deflected by Milliken, and there's a foul. That'll be four fouls on Levi Milliken. So he may have a long rest here for the next little bit. Adam Creason will check into the game, and oh, Jaden Hall will have a seat. So they're going to leave out. Uh, they're going to leave Levi Milliken in the game with four fouls, with a minute 45 to go here in the third quarter. Traven Frazier to inbound for the Indians does so too. Nathaniel Long, Long has it, spin move at the elbow. Ball's tied up by Nathan Smith. Possession arrow favors Shattuck. It will be Indian basketball. Shattuck to inbound on the near sideline. No, no correction, they'll inbound on the baseline. Balco looking much, much better offensively here in this quarter. Frazier looking to inbound. Does so to Long, Long driving in on Parker. 15-foot fadeaway is no good. Rebound by Adam Creason. Long outlet to Nathan Smith. Numbers back defensively for Shattuck. Pass too tall for Parker and it's stolen. Long with it the other way. Numbers for Shattuck offensively if they hurry. Long 12-foot jumper is in and out. No good. Rebound by Milliken. Come back the other way now are the Bison. Smith ahead of everyone. If they can find him, they can't. So Balco will take their time, come back the other way now. A minute 13 to go here in the third quarter. 41-25, your score favor, Balco. Into the front court, Braxton Fowler on the far side in front of the Bison bench. Utilizes the crease and screen, has the ball, reverses course over to Smith. Smith finds Creason at the block. Double team comes, cross court pass to Parker. Parker for three. 
bang, three-point basket good for Peyton Parker. That's five points for him, and it's now 44 to 25, under a minute to play here in the third quarter. Into the front court, Nathaniel Long. Long crossover dribble, pass over to Frazier. Frazier at the top of the key, passes to Johnson. Johnson at the free throw line, extended on the far side, looking to get rid of it, passes now down to the to the block. Daniel Long with position shots, no good, rebounded by Crease and Crease and Long outlets too long, and Fowler is unable to save. It'll be a turnover, and Shattuck basketball with 38 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Balco's outscored Shattuck 23 to five in this quarter. And that's been the difference of the game. Into the front court now are the Indians. Cooper Johnson has it. Parker goes for the steal, doesn't get it. Long turnaround jumper for three is good. And I'll tell you what, Nathaniel Long is having a game for the Shattuck Indians, 16 points to lead all scorers. 17 seconds left to go in the ball, in, in the, excuse me, in the third quarter. 44 to 28 your score. Braxton Fowler into the front court, and Balco's going to hold for the final shot. Eight seconds left to go here in the quarter. Fowler over to Creason between the circles. Coach Regeer calls the play from the timeline, or from the sideline. Three seconds. Creason for three. No good. And that's the end of the third quarter with your score. Balco 44, Shattuck 28. We'll take a quick break. And we'll bring back exciting fourth quarter action from the 2022 Shattuck shootout. Balco Bison basketball will continue in a moment. Welcome back to the 2022 Shattuck Shootout. Second round matchup with the Balco Bison. Lead the Shattuck Indians by a score of 44 to 28. Shattuck is being paced by Nathaniel Long with 16 points to lead all scores. Bison are being paced by Jaden Hall with 15. Balco basketball to start the fourth quarter. Creason at the elbow, passes over to Smith. Smith to Fowler. And Balco's gonna reset the offense. Bounce pass to Hall. Hall over to Smith. Smith for three. Off the back iron, no good. Rebound loose. Picked up by Long, and Shattuck will come the other way. 7.35 to go in the ball game. Long over to Johnson. Johnson for three. Basket is good. Cooper Johnson also having a very nice game for Shattuck with 11 points, and it's 44 to 31, seven and a half to go in the ball game. Reminded that the winner of today's game will play at two o'clock tomorrow. Creason on the block, turnaround jumper is no good. Rebound loose, tie ball, possession arrow favors Shattuck, and it will be Indian basketball. So two very sloppy possessions offensively for Balco to start the fourth quarter. And this is not how Coach Regeer wanted to start the fourth quarter of this game. After a very good third quarter, you don't want to wrap it up with a bad fourth quarter. A travel in the front court for Shattuck, and it will be Balco basketball. Jaden Hall will inbound in front of the Shattuck bench. Braxton Fowler will walk it across the midcourt stripe, passes over to... to Parker, Parker over to Smith. Smith the Fowler on the near side, has the free throw line extended on the near side. Bounce pass to Hall at the elbow, turnaround jumper from 15 is good. 17 points for Jaden Hall. And it's 46 to 31. Into the front court, Johnson has it. Tries to, uh, tries to dribble around Smith, can't do it. Passes over to Hammaker. Now back to Frazier. Frazier has the ball, loose on the floor, picked up and stolen. Creason has it, passes over to Braxton Fowler. 6.25 to go in the ballgame, 46-31, your score favor, Balco. Fowler to Parker, Parker to Creason, Creason elbow jumper, no good, rebounded by Long. And Shattuck's going to come back the other way now. Two minutes gone here in the fourth quarter, 46-31, your score favor, the Bison. Frazier has it now. 
Passes out of a double team. Over to Hammaker. Hammaker holds the ball high above his head. Cross court pass to Long. Long being guarded by Hall. Wrap around dribble. Passes back now to Frazier. To Johnson. Johnson free throw line floater is no good. Gets his own rebound. A lot of contact. No call. Rebound by Creason. And Balco's going to come back the other way. Numbers back defensively for Shattuck. Fowler goes for the wraparound dribble, and it's stolen when it goes behind his back by Hammaker. Coming back the other way, Long has it. Hall goes for the steal, doesn't get it. Crossover dribble. Elbow jumper for Long is good, and that's 18 points for, for Nathaniel Long, and it's 46 to 33. 5-16 to go in the ballgame. Peyton Parker has on the near side, being guarded by Hammaker. Bounce pass to Hall. Hall loses control, goes back up over a double team. Shot's no good. Rebound loose, picked up by... Johnson coming back the other way. Dribbles through a double team, passes over to Long on the near side. Daniel Long has it, loses control. Nathan Smith steals and comes back the other way. 4.55 to go here in the third quarter. Hall goes up for the shot and he's fouled by Nathaniel Long. For Long, that'll be his second personal foul, just the second team foul on Shattuck of the half. Now are they gonna call it, and they'll call it in the act of shooting. So Jaden Hall beat the line to shoot too. Jaden Hall with 17 points to lead all Bison scorers. First free throws up and good. So one more free throw forthcoming for the senior. It's up, in and out, no good. Rebound by Peyton Parker and Bako reset the offense. Parker, shot from the block is good. That's seven points for Peyton Parker. A season high for him. And it's now 49 to 33 with 4.37 to go here in the ball game. Ball's knocked away and stolen by Parker. Parker goes up, shots off the glass and good. Nine points for Peyton Parker and it's 51-33 and the Bison tied their largest lead of the game at 18 points. Long has the ball, splits the double team shot, is blocked by Creason out of bounds. It will be Shattuck basketball underneath the basket. 4.19 to go in the ball game. Inbound goes to Long. Long's pass is deflected out of bounds. Hits Cadence, and it will be Shattuck basketball. Inbounds deflected out of bounds by Jaden Hall. Hall being very aggressive on the defensive end. The inbound goes to Johnson. Johnson over to Frazier now. Frazier between the circles being guarded by Fowler. Looking to get rid of it. It's knocked away by Hall and stolen. Hall ahead of everyone goes up, shots off the glass and good. 20 points for Jaden Hall in this game. And it's now a 20 point lead for Balco, 53 to 33 long. Three pointer is good. And this is quite the battle between Jaden Hall and Nathaniel Long. Nathaniel Long now at 21 for the Indians. And it's 53 to 36, favor the Bison. 345 to go in the ball game. Number of substitutions set to come into the next dead ball. Fowler has the ball at the top of the key bounce. Pass to Jaden Hall. Hall over to Fowler. Between the circles now. Utilizes the Parker screen. Reverses course over to Nathan Smith. Smith for three. Bang! Three-point basket good for Nathan Smith. That's nine points for Smith, and it's back to a 20-point lead now, 56 to 36. 316 to go in the ball game. Johnson has it. Pass is thrown away, and it will be Balco basketball. No correction, I guess they'll say it was deflected by Balco. It will be Shattuck basketball. Levi Milliken set to check in for the Bison. Into the game for Shattuck will be Noah Wright and Dylan Curtis. Noah Wright seeing his first action of the game. Trent Cates set to check into the game now for the Bison as well. And Cates will replace Adam Creason. So with 3.12 to go in the ball game, looks like the teams have waved the white flags and we're about to, about to wrap this game up now. Inbound goes to Long. Long has it being guarded by Parker. Parker back to Daniel Long now. Long in the wing. Spin move around Milliken. Passes back to Nathaniel Long. Nathaniel Long for three off the back iron. No good. Rebounded by Trent Cates. And Balco will come back the other way. Nathan Smith now with it. Under three to play in the ball game. 56 to 36 your score favor Balco. Balco will be back in action tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Three-pointer off the back iron. No good. Rebounded. 
out of bounds off of Shattuck. It will be Balco basketball from the baseline. So the Bison will be back in action tomorrow at 2 o'clock. We're not sure yet of the opponent. As soon as we know, we'll post it on our social media. Parker inbounds to Braxton Fowler on the near side. Utilizes the Millican screen. Fowler for three. Bang! Three-point basket good for Braxton Fowler. That's 11 points for Fowler. the third Bison player in double figures, and it's now the largest lead of the game for Balco at 59-36. to 36. Two and a half to go in the ball game. Noah Wright with it in the corner on the far side. Passes over to Nathaniel Long. Long back to Wright. Wright for three. And platoon substitution coming in for Balco. Gentry Parker, Cooper Mitchell, and Ty Smith set to check into the game for the Bison. So all of the starters now out for Balco. Mitchell inbounds on the near side, gives it off to Ty Smith. So Smith has the, has the dribble now, 2-10 to go in the ballgame, gives it off to Gentry Parker. Parker over to Cooper Mitchell. Mitchell gives it back to Trent Cates. Cates splits the double team, loses control pass. Back to Ty Smith. Smith utilizes the Cates screen over to Parker. Off of Cates' hands out of bounds, it will be Shattuck basketball. A minute 54 to go in the ballgame. 59-36 your score. Nathaniel Long will bring it up the court for the Indians. Heading toward the far side, over to Wright. Wright for three, high arcing shot, no good. Rebound picked up by Gentry Parker. Over to Cooper Mitchell. Mitchell has it now, gives it off to Ty Smith. Smith will walk it across the timeline, trying to direct traffic. Dylan Curtis reaches in, doesn't get the steal. Parker gives it off to Mitchell. Mitchell over to Smith. Smith to Parker. Gentry Parker for three. Off the back iron. No good. Rebound. No. Into the front court. Daniel Long has it been guarded by Gentry Parker. Turnarounder. Turnaround shot in the paint. No good. Rebounded by Trent Cates. Numbers back defensively for Shattuck. He'll pull it back out a minute five to go in the ball game. Ty Smith straight away three. Off the front iron. No good. Gets his own rebound. Three-pointer for Smith. Again, no good. Rebounded by Cooper Johnson, coming back the other way now. Cates goes for the steal, knocks it loose, picked up by Nathaniel Long. Three-pointer for Wright, off the side of the iron, no good. And they are trying to feed the ball to Wright. And the Bison content to let him shoot. The three-pointer is high, off, no good. They are desperately trying to get this ball to Wright, and the Bison again content to let him shoot. Three-pointer is no good, and everyone I think on both sides is just going to let let Wright get these shots off. Three-pointer, no good. And I have the feeling like I have a feeling like if this if if he makes one, that this place is going to erupt. Twenty-one seconds left to go in the game, and they may not get another chance to let him get one. Ty Smith has it, he'll walk it up the court, and I feel like they're just going to hold the ball. Smith will walk it across the timeline. Wrap around dribble for Smith. Gives it off to Mitchell, and they're just going to dribble it out. Cates, crossover dribble. Driving in. The floater from behind the basket, no good. And that's the ball game with your final score, Balco 59, Shattuck 36. So we're going to take a quick break. We're going to switch over to the other broadcast. And when we come back, we will have the Balco women's team in action. Um, in a top 20 matchup here in the second round of the 2022 Shattuck shootout. So we'll go ahead and switch over to the other one, Balco Bison basketball. We'll continue in a moment.